I'm Martha Goodrich. I'm the Fly Fishing God. www.flyfishingdad.com Excuse me. Dot com. I want to do a video today. Salmon season, you know, steelhead running. They're going to be running soon. Chasing those salmon for their eggs. So I'm going to do a fly today. Super, super easy. Um, it's, it's the, uh, it's like a sucker spawn, but I'm using a, a crystal braid and an orange chenille. Um, the, the because it's going to be a crystal braid, that kind of gives it a flashier look. And, um, for some reason they're calling this the crystal meth, which I don't understand. Uh, but crystal meth uh, uh, spawn. So the ingredients for this is the I'm using a chartreuse crystal braid. It's real small stuff. It's a crystal braid chartreuse color. I'm using an orange small chenille, real small, and it's only going to take like maybe an inch piece. Um, that's all we're going to need in it, and this is only going to be like a four inch piece, so this does not take much ingredient wise at all. I'm using a size four. This is Owner, brand I never heard of before. It's called a mosquito hook, but it's made by Owner, and it's a size four, um, and it's barbless. That's why I picked it up. I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, let's see, we're going to use green thread, scissors, of course, head cement. Always got to use the head cement, uh, hardest hull, regular clear nail polish will work, um, a whip finisher, and a bodkin. We'll start by putting the thread on the hook. Now this, this particular fly is uh, going to imitate an egg. With and the little orange in here, that little orange piece of chenille that's going to be in there, is going to imitate the embryo that's in that egg. Um, that will get the fish to more likely to strike. Um, great, great fly for uh, salmon. I think it's better for steelhead though because the steelhead really like the salmon eggs. And the salmon basically have shut down eating when they get in the stream to go spawn. So, unless you get them right in front of them, <laughs> and then the, it's going to be out of agitation that they take it. Um, the brown trout, brown trout will like them too, because they're another one that's after the eggs. Um, so we start by putting this green thread on the hook. And I start up front by the hook eye and I just keep going back. Keep wrapping this back. Trim off this excess. And what I'm going to do is wrap it forward, wrap the thread back forward, and then we're going to go back again. And I think I will even put a little, um, um, flashable on the end for the tail. I think that might be a good idea. Just, just for a little more flash. So here is my flashable. It's on this, this thing here. And I got all different colors. So I think I will take kind of this white color. And you need very, very little. You don't need much because this is such a small fly, actually. Um, when you fish it, you're probably, because it's because there's really no weight to it, you're probably going to want to put um, some sinkers on your line. Oh, I'd say, depending on the depth of the water that you're fishing in, uh, you probably 18, 24, maybe even 36 inches up from the, from the fly. Um, now it's very, you probably can't even see that, 
it's such a small amount and that's just going to go right on the end here just to give it a little bit of a tail Just a little teeny bit of a tail, just for a little flash. Now, I'm going to cut about four inches, four inches of this crystal braid. I'm going to tie that in. And once again, I'm going to tie this. Toward the, um, this is actually going to start at the back, but I'm going to tie it up along towards the front just to get somewhat of a, a body on this uh, so it holds holds on better okay and now we just start by doing little teeny loops on it I would say quarter inch start and loop wrap it a couple times and then I'll wrap it just a little more just to make sure it's on it's held good and tight and then the next one is going to be another little teeny loop I tried to do two one right next to the other on the back then we're going to tie that in. And then we're going to do another loop. This one just a little bit bigger than last one. And we'll tie that in. So now we got like three loops right back here. Now we take this little piece of orange chenille and we put it on here. And then we wrap that, tie that in, give it a few wraps to hold it good. And then we're going to tie another loop. And all you're doing is just looping it and then wrapping the thread. Looping, wrapping the thread. Super easy. Now it's done. All I gotta do is add the head, put some head cement on it, you know, whip finish it, put the head cement on. That's it. Trim this off. Got a little piece left. I'll probably use that in another fly. Uh, just do a different color and use this for the uh, embryo. And then we're going to trim this orange chenille. So now when that's going through the water, that little piece of orange in there, they're going to spot that, oh, that looks, that looks like an egg with an embryo. So now we're just going to keep wrapping this for a little bit, just to make a head. Okay, whip finish it. When I whip finish, I like to do like uh, four or five wraps. Trim off this. Now I take my bodkin. This is my little secret, my little trick. I put a bodkin in the, because of the way this hook eye is, I'm going to put the bodkin in the bottom. Because if I put it in the top, it's going to be so close that I'm not going to be able to get that glue in there. So I'm going to put it in the bottom of the hook eye. Just poke it up in there. Take this head cement, stick that on. The head cement's only to basically seal those thread wraps to, um, 
to make them uh, tight so they don't unravel. Seals them up, okay, glues them together, you know. We'll let it wait a couple seconds here, and then we're going to take the bodkin out. I'll remove the fly, and we'll take a look at it. That should be good. And here is the sucker spawn, uh, the crystal meth spawn. Um, you'll see the little orange in there. Little, very little of this tail, very little tail, and just the yellow loops, and the, the salmon, steelhead, brown trout. They're going to mistake this for an egg, and they're going to go for it. So, uh, leave me a comment below. Tell me if you like this video. The, Tell me if you've made uh, one of these patterns before, what you used, uh, did it work for you? Um, you could do it, like I said, all different colors, all different materials actually. Uh, let me know what you, what materials you used. Thank you. Uh, you can uh, also visit my Facebook page. Uh, leave a comment there, post some pictures there if you would like. Uh, it's, uh, Facebook.com forward slash fly fishing god. Thank you very much.